Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. And today we are not going to solve any problems, no multiple choice questions. Today we are going to talk ab about why B cells are called B cells. And um, the B lymphocyte lineage of cells is responsible for antibody production. As you know, most of us assume that the B lymphocytes or B cells got their name because they mature in the bone marrow. So B stands for the bone marrow. However, this is not really the case, as you probably guessed looking at these uh, pictures. The B in the B cells come from the bursa of Fabricius. The bursa of Fabricius was first described by the Fabricius uh, Aquapendante, his, his portrait and a bursa of Fabricius, this organ that uh, uh, localized uh, here and can be found in birds. And uh, normally uh, mammals doesn't have this organ, so um, uh, Fabricius Aquapendante uh, made this discovery of this organ in 1600 and uh, BF for short is a sac-like uh, structure that sits over the terminal portion of the gut in the birds. To date, its only uh, known function is the uh, production and maturation of B cells. So uh, the modern research mm, is uh, in the 1950s and uh, 60s, Bruce uh, Gleick at the Ohio State University was studying the function of the uh, organ of this organ, bursa of Fabricius, in an effort to determine its function. He routinely bursectomized. <laughs> uh, I didn't know this word, so I have to search Google today to find out what this word. Probably you don't know uh, also, but uh, it it's basically made of two words. Burse, burse, first uh, part of this word uh, come from bursa of Fabricius and ectomized meaning cut away. So um, the student um, bursectomized chickens with within the first three weeks after hatching and this period in which the bursa grows rapidly. And another graduate student at Ohio State University named Timothy Chang, he was looking for some chickens to immunize in order to produce antibodies against Salmonella. And the only chickens available at that time were Bruce uh, Gleek's uh, bursectomized chickens. And when Chang immunized these chickens with Salmonella or antigen, many of the birds died. And none of the survivors produced any antibodies. This was a seminal uh, observations that lead to the discovery that B cells were responsible for antibody production. Gleek and Chang published their work in the journal Poultry Science in 1955 and 1956. As a result of the discovery of these uh, students, the entire field of immunology was opened and uh, this led to the elucidation of many of the major tenets of cellular immunology, including the roles of the zymos and bursa, bone marrow in mammals, and uh, in the development of the two major lineages of immune cells, T cells and B cells. I hope this information have been interesting to you. You have learned something new today. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos and see you in the next video. Goodbye.